What is up everybody, it's Rona from RGF Games here and I'm back in Dying Light for your daily Dying Light gameplay and this time I'll be covering how to level up your skills. So for agility, you're going to have to do agility moves which is uh, free running. So you climb up, I get 7 points right there. And you see, just keep doing this. You pretty much just parkour as much as you can, jump over zombies, those give you a good amount of points. Jump over the zombies, like that. Gives me 20 points. That's pretty good just for hitting R1 and jumping over them. But of course you have to have a skill for that. That is a skill to be able to jump over them, which you unlock earlier. And obviously as when you're lower levels, you level up faster. But yeah, you just pretty much just do parkour stuff, vault over things, jump over zombies. All that good shit. So next is the power, and the power is leveled up by hitting things and killing things. So I just got 80 points for killing that guy with the gun. I'm going to kill this one too with the gun. If you're wondering how to get guns, I have a video up on how to get guns. So just go check that out. And also lock picking. So here again, I'll show you jump on top of the cars. So you make the jump. There's 20 right there. And uh, so that's pretty much how you do that. That's the power. You kill things and stuff. And so for the survivor skill, what you're mostly is the supply drops, and you also get them from you also get them from reviving fallen teammates and uh, securing these uh, safe houses. I'm gonna show you that right now. You want to clear out the area, and then you have to turn the power on. There's this guy still left. Finish him off. Okay, now I have to turn on the power. And I have to find the power. Is it behind here? Nope, and I just blocked the door. On the power's right here. Yeah, sometimes the power is hard to find, even though it might be right in the middle of everything. So there you go, as you can see right there, plus a thousand. And then, as you look right here, you can see the skills, you can see the level. And I'm level 10 in all of them, and my closest one to leveling up is the survivor skill. And I'll show you the skill trees. So the first tier, you can uh, upgrade your backpack pretty much twice. You can uh, craft things better, or you can craft the lock picks, the throwing stars, the molotovs, the firecrackers. The next one is learning how to use plants for boosters, kind of like Far Cry syringes. Then uh, lower prices by 10%, uh, elemental throwing stars, DIY grenades, can throw grenades, trap bombs, draw infected and detonate with three additional effects, haggle again, same one as this one. No, this one's barter, and this one's haggle. Uh, so it's pretty much the same thing, call it a different thing. Hard bargain, pretty much the same thing, even better. Uh, nimble hands, search dead bodies faster. Lucky repair, uh, get better repairs. Crafting expertise, craft more stuff. Camouflage, which is pretty useful. You uh, smear blood on you and they can't really detect you. Electrical fences, and exploding cars. You also have Craftsman, and it uh, gives you the Grappling Hook. Now first you need the Grappling Hook skill, and then you need this to, uh, yeah, you, okay, no, you need the Grappling Hook to get this one. And then there's Specialist, learn how to use weapons better, and then the Ultimate Survivor, which is pretty much, you get a health boost, camouflage, everything. So that is the Survivor. Agility, start up at the top, you can dodge, that's a very useful one. Slide, break their legs. No, leg breaker right there, that's what you have to do. So, you get this, and the other, the first tier of slide just knocks them down. Leg breaker breaks their legs, and you have grapple, and you have grapple brutal. Enemies thrown in grapple are knocked down, making them vulnerable to finishing moves, but the grapple one, you just throw them, and they have a chance to trip over something or whatever. Health regen, drop kick, drop kick bomb. So pretty much the things right here on the right, like these ones are separate skills. And then the ones that branch off to the left are making them better, like uh, more useful. Like this one is an escape where you can quickly get out. And this one allows you to 
instantly break free. This one is just faster, instantly, and then reversal, which stuns them. Same for this tackle, and then instead of tackle, you get ram, which is timing the tackle just right will deal damage on the first strike. And then this one, you can turn around while you're being chased. I don't really, okay, no, that one, you, you can use your UV light and shit, but I don't really turn around anyway. Free running expert, uh, tic tac, which kind of wall jump. Health regen again, and then again the ultimate one. Next is power. First off, stun, basic. And again, as you go left, they increase that skill. Kick stun, you can 10% chance of stunning them when you kick them. And then stun kill, instantly kill stunned enemies by pressing squared. And that pretty much just kills them. I think that's snap in their neck. Uh, multi throw, lock up to three enemies, and then doubles damage right there. And you get sturdiness, which is pretty much more health. And then you have melee throw, double tap R3. So it's pretty much like the Dead Island throwing, except you have to unlock it. Next is the combat adept. It gives you better fighting, more stamina, more damage. Then you have power attack, which lets you hold down R2, and you wind up and you hit them. And then again, windmill, uh, hold and release. And you do a windmill, pretty much. And then there's wind whirl, which is the same thing except it reduces the cost of stamina then you have conserve weapons you um, this is actually a good one I don't have it yet but it decreases it increases your durability so your weapons don't break as fast and they break really fast in this game uh, focus striking an enemy this the same enemy consecutively gives you a damage boost kill frenzy pretty much the same thing again stomp and then you have ground pound and you have drop attack which is what i'm going to get next you can jump off in midair and hold it and it'll kill him it's kind of like an assassin's creed and slam increases the range and force of the ground pound and then you also have the sturdiness and then combat expert become an expert fighter gain even more stamina and more range of physical attacks no finishing attacks sturdiness three uh more stamina blah 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 take down sneak up behind them and break the neck and then the last one ultimate combatant which is same thing as all of them boosts everything at once so there you go guys hope you liked the video showed you guys how to level them up and if you want to level them up faster you want to go at night and do all this stuff because at night everything is doubled all your uh, all of your XP is doubled when you do that so if you want to level up even faster that's what you have to do but there you go, guys. That's how you do most of it. If you like this video, uh, subscribe for more Daily Dying Light gameplay. Comment of what you would want me to cover next. Leave a like. Thanks for watching. Peace.